Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some XD goodness. And today's goodness involves the use of symbols in experience design. Symbols are really kind of neat. Uh, you can have all kinds of icons and things like that. And you want to reuse them on multiple artboards or reuse them on the same artboard. Doesn't matter, but you just don't want to be constantly copying and pasting or importing. And that's where the value of a symbol library comes in. And to access a symbol library, you come down to the bottom here, and there's the symbol library icon, and you click it, and the symbol library opens. Now to create a symbol, just you have to read this here, or very simply, you select your object that you want to convert to a symbol. So I got my little microphone here, and I want to make it a symbol. And there we go. And if I want to add it to this artboard over here, I just drag it in. So there are a couple of gotchas with symbols, so let's take a look at them. Uh, the first one is this. If you uh, double click it and you say, well, you know, I want to make it smaller. Notice they all get smaller. So you've got to be aware of that one. Uh, I'm just going to undo that. Now another one is this one. Let's just assume I've got this instance here, and I want to change the color. So I'm just going to come over to the fill color, and I'll pick a blue and if I change it to blue, you notice not only do the instances turn blue, but the original symbol turns blue too. So you got to be aware of that one as well. So I guess the rule is don't color the instances because you're just going to change them on all your artboards and get them size S. Now, if you need various sizes of it, then you're going to have to create individual symbols for each size. So there you go. There's using symbols in XD. Remember those two gotchas. You can't recolor them, and if you resize them, they resize on all the artboards where that symbol appears. But other than that, they are a handy little addition to experience design.